Hello and welcome to another Out of Spec Bits video. You join me at CES 2026. This is Adib, welcome to the channel. Yes, thank you. Yeah, so yeah. these guys build Kama AI and I actually run their aftermarket driver assistance device in my Gen 1 Rivian and it is insanely cool. And what's even cooler is like, you guys are this grassroots company with a ton of, I would say like, nerdy fans that help yeah, sure. build your product with you. Yeah. So give us the like lowdown on the, the story of Kama AI and then sort of what's going with the new stuff. Yeah, so uh, we were founded in 2016, uh, right around like Tesla Autopilot was becoming a thing. Um, so we launched with uh, an open source dev kit called the uh, Kama One. Mm -hmm. And uh, you could install it on the Acura ILX um, or oh, Honda the Civic. only car. <laughs> I think it was just the ILX, and then later we're like, all right, nobody has an ILX. <laughs> right. And then, unfortunately, like the code is very similar for the Honda Civic, which obviously. Why people have. the ILX? How did that happen? I don't know. I don't actually know. <laughs> Probably so that's what they drove. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So about 10 years later now, we're on the Comma 4. Um, it plugs and plays in your car. It's not a dev kit anymore. Um, you know, you could buy this from us. We will ship it to you. It works with 300 different cars. You tell us what car you have on the, our website. Uh, we'll ship you everything you need for it. Yeah, so you have like Toyotas, many of them, Hondas, yeah. um, you have Rivian, of course. You can do it in Tesla, which is kind of yeah. cool. And it actually is like better than Gen 1 or AP1 Teslas. Uh, yeah, so I think we support AP all the way up to Hardware 4. Yeah, it's really cool, dude. So um, tell me a little bit about the units that were out up until now. So that's the Kama 3X. Yes. That's what I have in my truck. It's got a pretty uh -huh. big screen, but it's, it's kind of like a tablet, like an iPhone yeah. size device. So I don't have a 3X on me, but it's... Uh, Looked about this big. Yeah. It was much thicker than my iPhone Air, but uh, yeah. The Kama 4 is 5X smaller. It's amazing the field. size difference between these two. Yeah. And before we get into the hardware really quick, can you tell us a little bit about the models? Because there's like yeah. the Sunny Pilot, all these. <laughs> I, I don't really know. Okay. I'm not an expert. So yeah. yeah. So Open Pilot is the software that runs on the Kama. Um, totally open source, MIT licensed. Um, so we make Open Pilot. Um, and you can think of it like Linux. There's a lot of flavors of Linux. We want to just make a really, really solid distribution. And there's other people who want to make customizations. There's Sunny Pilot, there's Frog Pilot, there's all sorts of... <laughs> yeah, there's Blue Pilot for the Ford There's Blue stuff. Pilot, yeah. Blue Pilot's great, yeah. yeah. It is, it's amazing how well it integrates. Like, in a light, my buddy's got one in his Lightning, yeah. and it like does everything. Uh-huh. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. wild. So all these communities are like taking it, running with it, making it work for their Fords. So those are literally just fans or like enthusiasts that are yeah. tuning their own ADAS yep. and then installing it onto your device. Yeah and you have a, some sort of marketplace to support that. Yeah, I mean, so the marketplace is GitHub and Discord. Oh, that's so amazing. So people buy the product, every comma for you can just SSH into, um, download any code you want. When it, you set it up, it asks you which software you want. So they even ship with OpenPilot. Oh, wow, um, that's cool. And OpenPilot's your development, right? That's us, yeah. 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 So that's make cool. a stock distribution and then help people make other flavors. <laughs> it's so cool. Yeah. Um, so how much are these things? So this guy is 9.99. Does that include the wiring harness? Yeah, so it's everything you need. And you just select the car that you have on the website. Yep. You have wiring harnesses and kits. Did you guys develop all the wiring harnesses or how does that work? Uh, so we, like to a large extent with the compatibility, um, we seeded it um, and we did a lot of the initial development, but the community's really taken it and they extend it. We work on making the driving better and the community kind of takes it and extends it to all sorts of cars. I've just never seen anything like this before. It's. It's such a cool community-driven effort. I've spoken to a few of the Rivian folks. Obviously, that's uh -huh. what I have it installed in. And they are so passionate, so cool. And like when there's a problem, they're like super good with like, okay, well, let's triage this. And the cool thing yeah. is you can learn all about your car with the comma. I think that's why a lot of people like it. Um, like with the Rivian, uh, I don't know what that fault issue is. Yeah, on but my truck, yeah, I don't know. We found yeah. in our in our support when people complain about like faults in their car, we found all sorts of like wheel sensor bugs and stuff. <laughs> okay. We find all sorts of ECU bugs. Yeah, because you're tapped into the communication yeah. system mm -hmm. on the car. I think to a large extent, we know a lot more about the cars than like some of the engineers who worked on the car too. Yeah, that's wild. That's yeah. really cool. Um, okay, so Comma 4, go, it gets yeah. installed basically behind the rear windshield. Uh, mirror, the rear, mm -hmm. rear view mirror in the windshield. It's this big and it literally enables lane centering, longitudinal wheels, or longitudinal vehicle control, yeah. stoplights. Yeah, so with experimental mode, we have chill mode and experimental mode. Okay. Chill mode's the stuff that just like, just works, 100% reliable. Yeah, that's, that's just like lane centering on the highway. Uh, yeah, it does gas and brakes, but simple adaptive cruise. And then experimental mode is where like, it's the full end to end. Uh, yeah. We just asked the model like, you know, how much should we steer and how fast should we go? And it's just like, it knows about red light, it knows about everything. Holy it knows about kangaroos. Can it make turns yet? Yeah. Really? It's experimental how, mode. How does it see around stuff? Uh, so we got two cameras. Okay, yeah, tell us about the hardware on this thing. Yeah, so we got one fisheye camera, and then we have one narrow camera to see far. Mm -hmm. And then on the other side, we have the driver monitoring camera. You can also see outside your windows. 
Yeah, um, but wow. it's primarily meant to just make sure you're paying attention. But you also can tap into like blind spot monitors on certain yeah. cars, right? Yeah. So those have varying quality. Some are just like ultrasonics. Yeah. Some are like really nice uh, radars. And yeah. they have corner radars and they factor all this stuff in. Those are really great. Yeah. And you could do like unassisted lane changes if you want with those. Yeah, which is really cool. Yeah. So breaking this thing open, Yeah. what's the reason to upgrade? So for example, in my case, I have 3X. I'd like yeah. to get 4 just because it's the newest thing and yeah. I want to showcase that. What? Why would I upgrade? What would the benefit be? Obviously a smaller yeah. you know, format. So it's it's really a refinement on the, the whole experience. So instead of a nice big... Uh, screen, we kind of condense it down to just what you need. Um, it's quite a bit easier to install. Um, you can plausibly install this in like five minutes on, not in the Rivian. Yeah, the Rivian is a like get all the famously way. complex install <laughs> Yes, uh, with some tight nooks and crannies. I had one of my colleagues do it. I was like, yeah. good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't do the installs anymore. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, but this is the install in most cars. So this is the lane keep camera that's behind the rear view, uh, sorry, the rear view uh, mirror. Oh, like a typical factory yeah. included one. There's yep. just like one little piece of trim you gotta pop off. Yeah. And then there's a connector. You connect up our harness box, there's USB-C and a little sticky on the back you put on your windshield. Um, and that's, that's so the cool. install. So we really worked cool. hard to make the install as simple as possible. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, uh, and then breaking this thing open, yeah. I mean, I heard cooling is massively improved oh, yeah. on this. So we have dual heat sinks on this. Uh, we did quite a bit of work. So it's the same chip, but we cool it way better. Um, so this running at the minimum fan cools it better than the 3X running at max fan. It's oh, totally really? silent. It's okay. got a Noctua fan. Uh, we worked Noctua made a custom fan um, for this. We put a ton of effort into the engineering. So we got a, you can see on this one, um, we have this copper heat sink for the back. Oh, so we nice. cool it from both sides of the chip. And on the front side of the chip, you can see the chips right there. So we cool it on the back and the front. And then we have a nice big Noctua fan. Dang. Yeah, that's so cool. And so when it's installed in your car, this is kind of what it looks like, right? And it's got yeah. a super high res screen. 300 PPI screen, small but mighty. Yeah. Um, a beautiful 536 by 240. <laughs> I love it, so cool. And you know, that's kind of cool because it was kind of like driving through a TV screen on 3X. Like I would well, almost- That's funny, our CTO said the same. I don't know if you heard oh, this. No. Did somebody else say this? No. <laughs> that's really funny. Yeah, okay. It, I could like almost drive just from looking yeah. at that, but yeah, then, yeah. you know, you lose a little depth perception yeah. from the screen, but it's like, oh, okay, you can just look over there. Uh, this is really nicely integrated. And I guess from the driver point of view, you would just see- Yeah, the it's designed portion. so you just see this nice strip. The yeah. Camera can see you and you can see the device. Yeah, that's really cool. And then what what are some of these other graphics that you have going yeah, on? So is that part of the open pilot software or will that stick around regardless of the software you run? Uh, so other, uh, I like the term pilots, they're, yeah. they're in software we call them forks. Yeah, uh, but okay. it's funny. Forks. It's, yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> start calling them pilots. I, I'm clearly like <laughs> dangerous, not an expert, but like have heard some things about this. Yeah, <laughs> so some of the forks uh, will change the UI. They can totally do that. Yeah. Um, the cool thing is all the software is there for you to customize. Um, I suspect they won't. It's, it's a nice UI. Yeah. Um, so this is the confidence ball here. So with OpenPilot, you can engage it absolutely anywhere you want. It won't be like, hey, we're not on the highway. It's not like pre-mapped highway. So it's it'll always like just start regardless. Yeah. yeah, it'll always start. And the thing is, it knows uh, how confident it is in the driving seat, mm -hmm. and it'll communicate to you. So when it's high and, and green like this, it's very confident. It's on the highway. It knows exactly what's going on. And then as you get to like some more complicated scenarios, and you get to some city streets and some traffic lights that are looking a bit strange, Go to orange and red, and it'll kind of drop. That's so cool. Yeah. Why don't other, like, why? That's such this a cool one innovation, that, but yeah. people should do that. Like, the Hyundai systems are particularly yeah. good for, yeah, you see it's like orange right now. Yeah. Yeah. Because you're like in the middle of a lane change and then it comes back up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. Um, but yeah, some of the Hyundai systems are funny because they're like pretty capable, but then yeah. when they stop steering, they won't beep at you, and you're like, Right, oh, you're just like off the all road. All you need is a beep. Yeah. Like it's pretty capable. And they'll stay on cruise control if you lose steering. Like, yeah. if you like do the like driver takeover thing. Yeah. Hyundai systems are like on throttle, off the road. I, I, I don't understand. It. Yeah, it's wild. Uh -huh. But like they are capable. They're good yeah, systems. Yeah. yeah. Um, that's amazing. So uh, I think this is the coolest thing. I'm going to order one and upgrade my 3X to one of right. these. Um, I really want to understand two things. If you own a vehicle that you guys don't support, uh -huh. what's the process to try to make you guys support it? So uh, it depends on, you know, if you're a programmer, it's actually pretty approachable. It's like, a, it depends on the car itself too. Some cars are set up very conveniently for us to just integrate um, right where that is. The Ravens, like you gotta dig around, find where the ECU is. Yeah. Um, so it depends on the car. Um, and then also depends on like your programming skills. Um, if you're like very much an enthusiast, but not a programmer, you might find somebody in the Discord community um, who's just like, oh yeah, I know about, you wanna support the new Honda Civic. I know all about the Hondas. If you just order this stuff and get it installed and record a log for me, I'll get it supported for you. <laughs> it's so um, cool. Yeah. That's amazing. So, and then how do you choose what software to run on the device? 
Uh, so we leave that up to you. Um, when you set up the device, um, this has probably changed a little bit since you got your 3X. Yeah. But uh, we have an option. Do you want to install OpenPilot or do you want to install custom software? Uh, we don't just, you know, default to OpenPilot. We have a little button, but uh, beyond that, you know, if you're not sure, you're probably just gonna click the OpenPilot one. Yeah. Um, but we totally leave it up to you. That's kind of what I have on my truck, but my truck doesn't do longitudinal control. Okay. And I know there's another module I can get yeah. to do longitudinal control, and I need it because Rivian sucks at like yeah. coming up on vehicles. So yeah. um, I'm gonna get my truck up in shape. I'm gonna order this. I'm gonna get whatever other modules are out there, yeah. and we'll shoot some updated videos. Right. Uh, what are some tests we should do with it? What would you like to see done of this versus that, or what? Like you've been in this game for so long. Yeah. How long have you been at Comma AI? Uh, about six years dude that's amazing like what are some stories you want to tell uh the, i mean it's funny because like the real value add is just like when you're on your commute and you just like realize like oh wait i got there and it's just, it was easy like yeah. we drove here from san diego and it's just like it's like everybody nobody minds like flying or driving it's like oh i drive yeah that's fine yeah car does most of the work now yeah yeah, yeah. um so it's a bit hard to communicate um i think uh you know the fst stuff is like really cool yes. it like goes around this turn but uh you know, do you want to use it every day? I don't know. Like for practical benefit, you spend most of the time on the highway. This does the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, as far as, uh, you know, I, I, I don't want to, I think you should try the product. Yeah. See what you yeah. like about it. Um, well, I'll film an updated video on the reviews yeah. channel for everyone. We'll get the Rivian dialed in. I'll yeah. see if it bricks anymore. Probably shouldn't. Yeah. And we'll be ready to rock and roll. Yeah. Um, but I really like, you guys are so weird to work with because like every other company, right? It's like, there's like a media team and there's a process yeah, yeah. and then there's like, okay, well, you, you guys are just like people that are like enthusiasts that are super wildly talented and you're so chill about everything. I love it. It's yeah. so cool. It, it's a wild company to cover and you guys really build an awesome device. So yeah. shout out comma AI. Thank you so much for joining yeah, on the channel. It was great to have you. Thanks for and, that. um, more videos coming on this soon on my Gen 1 Rivian now that I'm getting it back after the show. So it should be fun.